Beginner kettlebell circuit number one. The first exercise we're going to do is a two-arm swing, followed by the kettlebell clean, and then the third and final exercise is the bottom-up lunge. So we're going to start off with a two-arm swing. Each exercise we're going to do 12 reps total. So you're going to grab the kettlebell with two hands. We'll get a couple of different views of this. So the front view, you're going to start swinging the kettlebell. As you squat, drop the kettlebell between your legs and then swing it up to about so the kettlebell is as high as, say, your face. That's, that's six. We'll do six more. You can get a different shot from the side view. You can see Jesse's keeping his heels down, dropping the weight between his legs, and as he extends his hips, his arms are coming up. All right, the next exercise, we're going to go into the kettlebell clean for this circuit. So the kettlebell clean, you're going to drop the weight again down just like you would with a two-arm swing, except you're using one arm. And then as you come up, you're flipping the kettlebell back over onto your wrist. And this is six reps. Now he's going to switch to the other side and do six more reps. So again, 12 reps total, six reps with each arm. All right, and then the third and final exercise is the kettlebell bottom up lunge. Bottom up meaning that the top bottom of the kettlebell is going to face the ceiling. And you're going to alternate lunging forward with the dumbbell or rather the kettlebell directly over your shoulder. Definitely m more unstable than holding a dumbbell. And that's six reps each side. And now he's going to switch arms. Just make sure you get a nice big stride. Keep your feet pointed straight ahead. Your feet and your knees should be aligned with your hips as you stride forward. Again, you're going to have a little instability with the kettlebell over your shoulders, so make sure that you're using an appropriate kettlebell weight so that you don't hurt yourself. 